Hey, hey everybody, and welcome back to our first weekly check-in for July. So we are gonna be checking in from all the way from the first until the 10th being today, Saturday. So I've already went and laid down all of our stickers that we have for bills. So rent, power, internet, storage, phone, and pest control all came out the first two days. We also had a few transactions from grocery category from Sam's Club, Walmart, and Aldi's the first day of the month. And then I went by balance and got me a tea. Me and James have both filled up our cards once this week. So we already laid those transactions down and we had both car payments or we had made two car payments and the water has come out. All right. So those are all of our transactions so far. Let's double check our cash envelopes right here. This is a file of facts from the budget mob. You, if you want to purchase it, I think you have to go through file of facts now. I don't think she has any more. We're going to pull out our envelopes here and make sure those are all of ours. So we got three. We have the two for gas. Spending, we have the one. And then miscellaneous still has our 45. All right, so those are our only transactions. I was trying to keep up with it because I was going a little bit longer than normal just because we didn't check in for this first Friday. But we are going to get out no spins if I have any more left. All right, so we're gonna lay down our no spins and I guess I'm gonna have to create my own no spin stickers because this is the last little bit I have. So Saturday the third, on the fourth, the sixth, seventh, and on the eighth, we had no spins, which is awesome. That is one, two, three, four, five, no spins in the first 10 days which is half pretty much so that's awesome all right so now we're just going to go ahead and flip on over to our weekly check-in here and we have already wrote down all of our transactions for this first week that we are checking in for so we're just going to use the numbers here and add them up so we don't have to keep flipping back and forth all right so we are checking in from the first to the tenth all right. First up is going to be our groceries. Let's pull out our calculator. For groceries, we had three transactions. So 188 from Sam's, 51 from Aldi's, and 108 from a Walmart. So that's a total of 347. All right. And we started with 550 for the month, so 347. So we should have remaining $203. And if we have one, two, three more weeks left, so divide up by three. So as long as we stay around $67 each week for the last three weeks here, we should be fine. So let's go ahead and make sure that is correct. So 203 should be in here. So one, two, one, two, three. Perfect. This is awesome. Next up, we have our gas. Gas, there was two transactions, one for 40, one for 27. So $67 was spent. For gas, we started with 240 minus the 67. We have about 173 remaining. There we go. Let's see, we have three weeks. So about 57 for gas and we should be fine for the week, hopefully. All right, and this one stays in our bank account and I swipe it at the, the pump itself so I don't have to go inside. So 173 for that. Personal spending, we had one transaction of $8. All right, and I started with 40 this month. So $32 is what should be remaining for my personal spending. And this is just mine, not James's. So this is spending. So we have 20, 30, 1, 32. Perfect. All right. And mine, I don't count 
by weeks because it's just whatever I spend on and hopefully I don't spend it or use it and I can put it to savings or something. All right, so those are our only transactions for the week. So miscellaneous, we didn't spend anything, which means remaining, we should still have 45, which is what we started with this month. All right, so this is miscellaneous. So we have 20, 40, and five. Perfect. Love when everything comes out correct, which is awesome. <clears throat> all right, so now we're gonna go over here and check these off. That way we know we got them all put in. All right, so there is this week's. Only bills we have left to pay is insurance, which should clear Tuesday here. And then our next car payments over here and student loans at the end of the month and that'll be it for bills and stuff for this month we have used sinking funds so james went and got some vapes during the fourth of july sale and then he had to get gas and i want to say he had to get a filter i need to write down as well i don't want to say he went i want to say he went on that monday after He needed an oil filter for the lawnmower. I have to check and see how much he gets spent. But those are the only transactions we have had so far in our transaction log. Um, yeah, and then somehow one of my kids got in my notebook and have messed it up just a little bit, but it's fine, it still works. Um, also, I wrote out some goals for this month. So no spins, we have a goal of 16. We're already at five, so we only have 11 more to go. Woo woo, yes. Um, no eating out. I don't wanna have any eating out this month. Last month we had quite a few and it was weird. And then I wanna make sure I pay a thousand towards our debt. So that way we hit that goal and get the car paid off quickly as can be. So I have them wrote down. Let's hope we can hit those goals. Let me know in the comments what your goals are for July. Um, they can be anything like no spends, eating out, um, reduce your grocery budget, pay so much towards your debt, anything. Just let me know in the comments. I love reading y'all's comments. I really hope that y'all enjoyed watching this um, weekly check-in for the first week's first 10 days, let's just say that, of July. And I cannot wait to catch y'all in my cash envelope stuffing video. And I will see y'all then. Bye-bye <laughs> now.